Hello, I'm Angie Kelly with Cry Like Realtors and thank you for tuning in to the Angie Kelly Real Estate Show, Did You Know? Hey everybody! Hi, I'm Angie Kelly with Cry Like Realtors. I'm excited about this new listing. What do you want to know? Today I'm sitting here with Chris Murphy, President of Inman Murphy Pest Control. Chris, thanks for being here today. Thank you for asking me, Angie. Today I want to talk about a problem that is really a big problem in our area. It's called roof rats. Yep. I hope none of you have them, but more than likely, you probably do. Absolutely. This area is plagued with roof rats. I've been in this business 30 years, uh, next year actually. And um, this the last 10 years especially, have, the roof rats have become a really big problem in the Mid-South. So Chris, what is the difference in a roof rat and just a regular mouse? Roof rat versus a mouse, they're going to feed on similar things. Generally the roof rats are going to like different areas of the house. They're going to come in much like squirrels. They're going to come in around the soffits and overhangs, uh, loose screens on your attic louvers, that type of stuff. Mm. They're going to gain access by the downspouts of the uh, uh, gutter system or overhanging trees or bushes up next to the house. Um, so they're going to be very similar. Roof rat's going to be much larger typically and longer, but as you can tell by the diagram, when they're young, what we call juvenile rats, they're going to be similar in size to a full-grown mouse. So sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to determine the two, uh, and we do free inspections for that type of stuff, but uh, uh, it is a very, uh, very big problem in this area. But most of your roof rats are going to concentrate in the attic areas. And is the problem more so in the winter months? Are they coming in to become warm or? You do see a surge in the winter months, but roof rats in this area are, are inhabiting, they prefer houses, you know, and trees and that sort of thing, as opposed to, um, you know, your Norway rats, like we see on the bottom of the screen here, they're gonna prefer dumpsters and, you know, wood piles and things of that nature. So. You're, you're very different and you will get a surge in the winter time, but unfortunately in the Mid-South, roof rats have become a problem year round. Yeah. Looking for shelter, basically. Chris, what is your method in getting rid of the rats? Is it using poison? Is it setting traps? What, what is your method on getting rid of those? Typically, we're gonna use a combination of things. There's not, and we, we try not to have a bowl or plate per se, this is the solves everything kind of mentality because you'll miss a lot of things that way. We try to look at the situation and assess what's best. We do prefer to use more traps in residential settings than bait, just because the, the less bait we have exposure, then the better off we are, uh, safer. That doesn't mean that bait is not appropriate in some areas, especially attics or areas that don't come in contact with people as much. Um, but if we can trap them, then we've got them, we know they're there, we know they're dead. Um, whereas if you're baiting, sometimes they can get away, you're not positive if you got them, that type of stuff. But in many cases, it's going to be a combination of the two. Uh, combined also with a third element of, of exclusion. So if you have holes or uh, louver vents that are the screens are missing, that type thing, or foundation vents, if it's a crawl space home, um, they can come through the crawl space and up pipe chases, all those access points overhangs that are rotten out, any of those type things, we're going to try to look at that and either give you advice on how to fix it, or if it's depending on the situation, we could do for an additional charge, we could help you repair those as well. And to end this uh, video today, could you tell the, the viewers watching what areas of town are fighting roof rats? Because um, I live in Shelby County and um, myself and my neighbors uh, battle those and I do want to point out that roof rats just because you don't necessarily have to have roof rats to live in an unclean home. The cleanest of homes can also encounter roof rats, is Absolutely. that correct? So what areas of town are battling roof rats right now? Most, area, most areas in the Memphis and Shelby County area, most of those areas are going to battle roof rats. Um, in particular, that center section, if you just kind of imagine a, an imaginary line right through the center of the Memphis metro area, all the way out through Lakeland and uh, Germantown, Cairville, uh, all of those areas that uh, were once woods, of course, and in the center of Memphis, you have a lot of mature trees and that type of thing. Those, all those areas are going to battle roof rats. It's going to be an ongoing problem. 
Um, so that's something to take note of. And if someone believes that they have roof rats, you offer free consultation? We do. You can, we can just give us a call at 388-0852. That's 388-0852. Or check us out on inman-murphy.com. And uh, we can come out, take a look at it at no charge, and kind of give you the best plan that uh, we can use to take care of them. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a great day.